Today we're going to talk about multiples of fractions, and with that, we're going to talk a little bit about multiples. A multiple is the product of a number, or fraction in this case, and a counting number. Our counting numbers are just regular numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you can go on and on and on. A multiple is then going to be basically counting by that specific number. So in this case, the multiples of 5 would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, because 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, and 6 times 5 is 30. So because of the multi a product is the answer to a multiplication problem, then our multiples are then going to be answers of our, of our 5 with our counting numbers. When you skip count by a specific number, you're listing the multiples of that number. So if we were to count by 3s and go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, we are then counting by... 3 and we're listing off the multiples of 3. On this slide we have our multiples of fractions. So first of all we need to realize and remember how to multiply a fraction. So I have a fraction up here 4 times 2 eighths. Now when we're multiplying a fraction remember that we need to we multiply straight across, so we need to create the denominator on our 4 here. So we're going to put a 1 underneath our 4 to create a denominator. That 4 is still 4 holes, but in this case we have it over our denominator of 1 so that we can multiply straight across without making any mistakes. So now we're going to multiply 4 times 2, and 4 times 2 is going to give us 8 and then our denominators which are 1 times 8 is also going to give us 8 which gives us an answer of 8 eighths which is equal to 1 whole so that'll give us 1 whole now our counting numbers then here, down here, we're going to be doing the same thing, only our counting numbers are going to be our, our number here, our whole number here that we're multiplying by will be our counting numbers here. So as you can see here, we did our 4 times 2 eighths. Right here we're looking at 1 eighth. And we're going to start off with 1 times 1 eighth. So 1 times... 1 8 is going to give us, we once again can go 1 over 1, so 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 8 is 8, so that is going to give us 1 8 would be our first one. 2 times 1 8 is going to then give us our 2 times 1 is 2, 2 and 1 times 8 is 8. Our 3 times 1 eighth is going to be 3 times 1 is going to give us our 3 and 1 times 8 is going to give us our 8. Now notice our denominator in all of these is staying the same because when we're multiplying by a whole number it's just like placing this one underneath our whole number and multiplying straight across so let's continue here we have our four times one eight is going to equal four eighths our five times one eighth is going to equal 5 eighths, and our 6 times 1 eighth is going to equal 6 eighths. So our, our numbers here, our multiples here would be 1 eighth and 2 eighths. 
and then for our three we'd have three eighths. Oops. Screwed up there a little bit. I'll redo that so it looks a little bit better. And then we'll have our four eighths, our five eighths, and our six eighths. Our denominators will always remain the same because our denominator of a whole number is always going to be 1. So we're always multiplying 1 times our denominator, which will give us our original denominator, which would be 8 in this case. Our numerators, however, are changing. They are going to be uh, counting by the specific, by the numerator. So here we have a 1. So we're counting by ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to list the first five multiples of the following fractions. Now one thing to always remember is we're, we're listing them by our multiples are going to be our counting numbers. So in this case, our counting number here is going to be one. Here's two, three, four, and our 5. So we're essentially just multiplying our counting number by our fraction here. Remembering that we're only really multiplying it by our numerator as our denominator will stay the same. So, here we go. 1 times 1 is going to be 1 and our denominator is going to stay the same. That's going to give us a 1 8. Uh, 2 times 1 is going to be a 2. Denominator once again stays the same. 3 times 1 is going to be 3. Denominator stays the same. And 4 times 1 is 4. And our denominator will stay the same. And 5 times 1 is 5. And our denominator will stay the same once again. Now we have listed off the first 5 multiples of one-eighth. Now we're going to try this again with three-fourths. Once again the first five multiples. Once again we're multiplying by our counting numbers here. And we're going to be counting in this case we're going to be counting by threes and our denominators will stay the same because one times four will always be four. Whereas up here we're going our three times are one and two and three and four and five. So, here we go. 3 times 1 is going to give us our 3 over our denominator of 4. Uh, and then we have our 3 times our 2. 3 times 2 is going to be 6 over our denominator of 4. Uh, 3 times 3 is going to be 9 over our denominator of 4. And then we have our 4 here. 3 times 4 is going to be 12 over our denominator of 4. And 3 times 5 is going to be 15 over our denominator of Four. Now, while these are improper fractions here, meaning they're renamed, they're they're renamed a uh, whole number plus fraction. Here, we could reduce these down to an amount. However, a lower fraction. However, we're not going to do that at this time. So, we're going to come down here to one half. Once again, we have one half, so our two is going to remain the same on all of these because uh, our two is our denominator. So really, what I could do on all of these is go through and put my two down because I know my two is never going is not going to change. And I can create my my line. Okay, and now I'm just multiplying my counting number by my numerator. So my first counting number is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. My second one is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, 3. 
3 times 1 is 3, 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 5 times 1 is 5. Now, I could re once again, I could reduce these down, but for this uh, chapter here, we're not going to worry about reducing them down. And that's all there is to listing off the multiples or figuring out the multiples of fractions.